in or be quote unquote relevant, you'll be, you'll you'll learn discernment where you want to be relevant to the right people. You want to you know you want to fit in with the people that you identify with. And so you know with Janelle Monet, it's kind of sad. I met Janelle Monet when I was on the Breakfast Club. I was I met Janelle. She was there. She didn't talk much. I tried to, to engage her in conversation. She was very kind of distant. Maybe she was having a bad day. I have no idea. But it, but you know I just said okay, no problem. We, we don't have to talk. But um, I thought she was in that classy category. I you know think about this right. You have women that you know, that you're hoping, like, you're like, okay, look at her. She's carrying herself well, and you're proud of her. And next thing you know, she's pulling the titty out because she's trying to fit in with Megan the Stallion. You're trying to outdo, you know, professional hoes, right? And I just think that's such a, that's a race to the bottom. That's a hard game to play. You know, like if you're trying to really match, it's like, it's like if, if you're a housewife and you're trying to keep up with the women that are, you know, for the streets, let's say, the city girls, it's just not going to work. Like remember when Derek Jackson's wife was talking about how she was trying to match what these women were doing in the bedroom and, you know, watching the video and trying to just sort of do everything they do. And I was like, Ooh, that's such a bad game for a wife to play. Um, it's almost like, honestly, you know what it is? It's like, if you're Bloomingdale's and you're, you're, you're jealous because tar because you see target and Walmart getting all the traffic and you're, you're Bloomingdale's though, right? Your prices are higher. Your quality is better. You have a different image than Walmart. Uh, Bloomingdale's ain't got no business trying to compete with Walmart. You know, and I, and I really think that some of the women, you know, that, that are in that Bloomingdale's category, the India Iris, you know, where Janelle Monae, I thought she was going, where Kiki Palmer, I thought she might be going. It's sad when you see them sort of looking over at the Walmarts of the world. Not that Cardi B is lower value as a person, she's not, but in terms of just uh, the level of commitment that a man expects to have to make in order to be next to you. Like like when you look at a, uh, an India Iris, you know she's not the average girl in your video. You know that you, she's not, you can't just buy your way into her pants. You can't just sort of pay and buy a ticket or buy her bag of Cheetos and have her give you, you know, and start, you know, you have her sharing booty cheeks with you. You have to earn that, right? Whereas Cardi makes it clear. Cardi's like, you know, and, and I and I understand money. I'm a financial expert, right? So Cardi is the one who says, look, if you bring enough money, you can have whatever you want, right? Oh, I get it. Okay, so simple transactional relationships. You know, I'm not here to judge that, but that's what I'm hearing, right? I, I wouldn't look at a Cardi B and see her the way I would see an India Ari. So I, I kind of wish at the very least we could at least have that distinction where we can kind of say look we don't need every black woman trying to like compete with the debauchery the nonsense that's up there I, and, and i think this is why uh black owned media is important like you see you and i both know um the really talented hip-hop artist uh Akil 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 Nihunda. uh you and i also know another great artist with rock nation uh victory boyd and victory boyd and Akil Nihunda are not artists that are going to do any of this you know they'll they'll walk away from money to protect their integrity they, 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 they have done this, you know, Victory's walked away from millions of dollars because she's like, I'm not doing all of that, right? And, and, I, and I think that those artists deserve to get support too. So maybe it's up to us to really not just speak up. That's why I do this podcast. I don't care how many people call me a hater or whatever, whatever, you can call me whatever you want. I'm gonna stand up for those women because I think that we need to have that diversity so that everybody doesn't think that every black woman wants to be Megan Thee Stallion.